Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Now, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, as much as I would love it to be clickbait, unfortunately, it is absolutely not. My KDP account has been terminated. I'm going to go into all the detail that you need to know as we go through this video. Before we do that, I just wanted to make something really, really important. There's two main reasons why I'm doing this. Number one is transparency. I think it's so, so important to be as trout as... Ugh. I think it's so, so important to be as transparent as possible, especially when I'm selling things like online courses and mentorship to people online. I never once misled anybody about anything that I've achieved on KDP. Everything that I've said I've done has been completely genuine and I have no interest in changing that. I could potentially very easily just not say anything about this and pretend that my account is still running and just keep everything under hiding. As much as I don't think it really impacts anything too much, I think it would be completely against what I stand for in not telling you exactly what's happened. So in this video, I'm going to take you through exactly what's happened with my KDP account what this means going forward and also the sort of content I'm looking to move into into the future. I also just want to say at the start of this video, this is not me at all slating KDP. KDP, in my opinion, I've always said this and still stand by, it is one of the best business models anyone can start if they're looking to start a side hustle and potentially grow it into a business. It's allowed me to travel around the world at the age of 23 to 25 like I am now and has literally given me the freedom to live the life I've wanted to in my early 20s. This is not me slating KDP. I'm fully aware that without KDP, everything that I've done over the last two or three years would just definitely not be possible. Now, as much as the reason for my ban being a complete joke, in my opinion, I do just want to say that at the start, because I think anyone who's looking to get into KDP, I would still definitely encourage that because it is an amazing business model. You just have to stick very, very strictly to the terms and conditions. But I go into a lot more detail about why I was banned in this video and what it means for you and also for me going forward. So in terms of context, I'm just going to get this out of the way. A bit of a context in terms of what I've lost. I have started my KDP account in 2019. I've grown it for the last three and a half to four years and spent well over 3,000 hours building my knowledge of KDP, creating well over 900 books and creating a KDP account that was actually valued at $250,000 at one point. So that's actually a huge amount I've actually lost during this situation. This is not a sob story or a pity party. That's just a little bit of context as to what I've lost in this situation. So you're probably wondering what's actually happened to my KDP account and let's just not waste any more time and go straight into that now. So why is my KDP account gone? In short, it's because KDP have found a second account and anyone that knows or has done KDP, you know that within the terms and conditions, you are only allowed one KDP account. And to be fair, that's pretty much what I've always had. I did, however, have a second account, which ironically, I only created to have one of you guys on Twitter, you messaged me, obviously not going to say who it is, but I jumped on a Zoom call with you and I actually created a second KDP account to demonstrate to you exactly how to make it. Anyone that's gone through KDP and tried to create an account would realize it's actually a very, very difficult process. So all I did was just jump on a Zoom call and created a second KDP account to show this person exactly how it's done. Now, at the time, this was over two years ago, I wasn't fully aware that that's actually breaking KDP terms and conditions. And although I never published a single book on there or never even finished the account creation process in terms of filling out my financial information, KDP have seen that as a second account and decided to ban absolutely everything so for the account i've actually been publishing on that i've spent three and a half to four years building up through my own hard work has just gone overnight like that because amazon have found this second account now it's also important to stress here that i am taking full responsibility of this yes it's a bit of a joke to have lost an account that size for something seemingly as innocent as that but that's just the way it is kdp have their terms and conditions although like i say it's completely innocent in what I've done to kind of ironically help someone out to create their own KDP. I'm essentially creating business for Amazon by showing someone how to make a KDP account. That's come back to buy me and I do hold my hands up and hold complete responsibility because I'm a firm believer that if you want to take credit for your success, you also have to take responsibilities for your failures. And this is something that, you know, as much as it's kind of not really my fault, it is ultimately something that I've done and I take full responsibility for that. So I just want to get that out there as well. And a couple of you are probably wondering why I'm a little bit too cheerful for such a sensitive and negative subject. Short answer is if you don't laugh, you'll cry. So you have to just kind of get on with it. It is part of life. Life's not fair and things will happen on your business journey. That's the whole point of having a business. It's never, ever going to be straightforward. Anything that's successful, that's difficult to attain, there are always going to be bumps in the road. And that's just kind of how I'm seeing this. Yeah, it's a pretty sizable bump to be fair but it's still a bump and it's something that I'm just gonna have to work forward and make sure I learn the lessons in the future. So onto the nitty gritty and the actual information as to why my account has been banned and exactly when this happened. So I've got myself a cup of tea. I'm just gonna waffle along and try and cut some things out that isn't relevant, but I'm just gonna kind of free wheel this and just see where it takes us. But essentially, 
on the 1st of April, I received an email, which is, for those of you who know, uh, a fool's day. I thought this was just a really decent chat from someone who was trying to ban my account or trying to pretend my account got banned. Kind of laughed at it at first and then went to log onto my KDP and realized that it was actually pretty genuine. So that kind of uh, taught me a lesson not to kind of take this uh, with a pinch of salt. This was genuinely an actual KDP account termination. And what the email said is we're terminating your account effective immediately because you have multiple accounts. Now, one thing I also want to say here is this yes was received on April 1st. At the time of recording this, it's mid-July. There is a reason why I haven't mentioned any of this on my Twitter. For those of you who are kind of eagle-eyed, will have known that I would have stopped uploading a lot of my royalty updates. The reason being is obviously now because you've realized that my account was actually gone the whole time. The reason why I haven't actually said anything is because a third party was actually investigating this whole situation on my behalf. And because the investigation was still ongoing, I literally couldn't say anything. So I don't want anyone to think that I was hiding anything or trying to mislead someone. I literally wasn't able to comment on anything to do with this account because it was still being investigated by a third party. So I also just want to make sure that that's really clear too. But what KDP basically have said is we're, we're terminating your account effective immediately because you have multiple accounts, which is a violation of our terms and conditions. Also, this account is related to an account that was terminated due to violations of our content guidelines. So again, this second part, I don't really understand because this second account that they're referring to, I can only assume it's the one I've mentioned, has never published a book or even finished the setup process. So there's no possible way I could ever uh, violate content guidelines here. So I'm not too sure what this part is saying. But this essentially refers to that second account that I've got, which has also been banned now. So I do know that this is because of that second account, because if I try to log into that, that's also gone too. So essentially that's what KDP have said. I've then gone back to Mauricio because at the time I didn't realize or just totally honestly, completely forgot that I had this second account because I'd never used it for any sort of gain for myself. I literally just did it to set up just to show someone else how to make a KDP account. And I said, I would like to contest this as I do not believe I have multiple KDP accounts. I only publish on one account and that has always been the case. So could you please share some more info now? I really wanted to get some more information from Amazon about what this second account was, because obviously if you've lost something that size, you're not going to kind of lie down and let it go easily. So I was quite persistent with this. But as you know, anyone who's dealt with Amazon KDP customer service, it is absolutely terrible. So no surprise, Maurizio did not reply to me. So they went back with him to him a couple of days later and said, I still not heard back from you. Can you just give me some sort of details about this second account? Again, I've only ever published on one KDP account and therefore extremely confused. Nothing but the truth or as far as I was aware at the time. Amazon KDP is my full-time income. So obviously this is a life-changing moment, very much so. So I really appreciate any support you can provide. But of course, Mauricio was too busy doing something else and definitely not replying to me. So I got completely aired again. So then went back through to my Amazon account and started again. Um, when I say started again, started another kind of conversation again and basically explained everything that I've said in that email explaining that the second account isn't mine, or if it is, they've got completely mixed up with either someone else's, um, and to the point where I realized it could potentially be the second one that I made, as I said, for that other person. KDP then came back and said, thanks for email concerning the status of your account. We reviewed the information you've provided and re-evaluated the relationship between previously terminated accounts and your account. Again, I'm not entirely sure what any of this means. Our evaluation process takes multiple criteria into consideration when establishing relations between accounts we take based on those criteria. Therefore, they're deciding to uphold their decision to terminate my account. So essentially, this was kind of it for me. That was that was the end game. Um, but that's that point where I started to look into the third party, which is the Alliance of Independent Authors, who are essentially a charity that I pay for every year to essentially protect me as an independent author, ideally from situations like this. Again, this is not me slating independent authors. They've done absolutely everything they can to help me. So I massively appreciate them and would definitely still recommend them. This just seems to be a bit of an outlier of a case because it is so, so substantial. Um, and Amazon, for some reason, are so convinced that they've got the second account here. One thing I can only assume is that this second account went first before my main account, hence why they're saying previously terminated account. So that's the only thing I can assume from it. But essentially, you get you get the idea. Amazon think I've got a second account. And yes, I probably do, but it's not been published on. So again, hold my hands up entirely. It is completely my fault. Again, it's very, very harsh in my opinion. But again, it's something I kind of have to take accountability for. And that's what I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and do. Now, I'm not going to take you through the whole story with the Alliance of Independent Authors and the investigation because that's all private information. And there's probably nothing else really in there that's going to benefit anyone in this video. And it's just kind of, in, a, in short, they went to Amazon, did their investigations. And then Amazon, after all of that, came back and said, yeah, we're convinced that this the second account is his um, and basically has violated terms and conditions. So again, 
I can't really say too much because technically I have broken terms and conditions. I just thought it wouldn't be that significant or even at the time didn't realize I was even breaking the terms and conditions. I would love for Amazon to have come to me and said, you have the second account. Here's a warning, either delete it or we will terminate both of your accounts. Doesn't seem to be that process. They seem to just go straight into it and ban both accounts, which to me sounds just so harsh. And especially when it's literally my livelihood, something I've built up over way over three years and spent so many hours into, you just thought that had taken a little bit of human element into it. Turns out that Amazon are just a very big company and it's very difficult when you're a small cog in that wheel. Now you're probably wondering what does this mean for me going forward, especially when it comes to my KDP courses and also my KDP mentorship. Now in reality, nothing really is changing here. I'm still gonna be promoting my KDP courses and also my KDP mentorship. I totally understand if someone watching this video may think, oh, I'm gonna stay a million miles away from learning KDP from someone who has been banned. I totally get it, but I'm kind of hoping you can use a little bit of common sense and understand that the reason I've been banned doesn't really tarnish my reputation or my knowledge of KDP. I have made over £130,000 from my KDP account. No one can ever take that away from me. And ultimately, I have been banned just by creating a second account and trying to help someone out on their journey. It's not like I've made all my money by breaching content guidelines and writing copyrighted books. I've done everything legit. I've just been banned for trying to help someone out, which is really painful to say. Uh, but it's just the way it is and i hope you can understand that that doesn't really tarnish anything to do with the knowledge i have about kdp i also know for sure that this knowledge is definitely still sound and still up to date because my new flatmate actually wanted to get into kdp and with all this situation happening i wanted just to see if all the knowledge i had could actually translate from taking a brand new account from zero to actually starting making some really good passive income online and as you can see on screen within his first month he has made over 200 pounds from his KDP books. And that's kind of the value in all of the knowledge that I have. So again, I do totally understand if you're a bit put off by the fact that it's been banned, but if you're not and still kind of trust the knowledge that I have, and hopefully this example shows you that it's still there, then I can't wait to continue helping as many of you as possible be successful on your KDP journeys. In terms of whether or not I'm actually going to start a brand new KDP account, you might be aware that technically speaking, you can create a new account. If you have your personal account, which is Sam Barnes, which has been banned, you can sometimes create a second account, which is a completely separate entity. So I would have to create a limited company here in the UK and publish through that company rather than my personal name. I do need to double check if that's basically complying with terms and conditions, having been someone that has personally been banned. I'm not sure if circumstances are different, but if I am able to do that, I will continue publishing on KDP because like I say, if I can make 200 pounds within the first month, that's only gonna scale more and more over time. And I could just have this on the side that's something that's gonna be generating me income with all of the knowledge and the hours I put into learning exactly how to play the game of KDP. And hopefully that example shows you that that knowledge is still sound and is still relevant today. You can absolutely still make money completely from scats from KDP. You just have to know what you're doing. And I still know that and I'm still prepared to teach as many of you that as well. Having said that though, the content on my social media, so my YouTube and my Twitter will slightly be changing too. I'm not just gonna stick to KDP. I will still be doing KDP tips, KDP videos every now and then, and also be answering any KDP questions that you have. I'm not blind to the fact that my whole audience has been built around this idea of KDP. So there's absolutely no way I'm just going to completely neglect that and kind of leave a lot of you in the dark. But I will be slightly switching up my content to include a few other things rather than just specifically KDP because I feel like I can offer people a lot more than just being this KDP expert. I think previously I'd massively box myself into just KDP. I have lots of other passions that I want to start spending more of my time basically helping people with and also getting into myself. So things like fitness, other general kind of business ideas and business tips and also generally just self-improvement. I think anyone who shows the interest in building a KDP business like my entire audience does, is also gonna be interested in those sorts of things. I think they go very much hand in hand into the idea of basically just trying to create a better life for yourself. So the content I'm gonna be seeing, like I say, you're still gonna see loads of KDP content and I'm more than there to help as many of you build KDP stuff as possible, but I will be branching into other kinds of content too, because I think that's gonna be really interesting and ultimately is where a lot of my passion lies at the moment. It's not just KDP, I am more than this KDP tip churning robot and I hope that's going to come out um, as we go forward into the next chapter. But ultimately, in terms of what it was before where it's just me and KDP with my KDP account, that is in the past, that has gone unfortunately with the circumstances that I've explained in this video can no longer be a thing. 
like I said, I will probably start a KDP account under that new entity if it, it, if it allows me to, but I'm not going to be constantly tweeting and showing all the private numbers in terms of income because that for me now should be something that I just keep in private and just keep doing for my own personal life and start switching my content up into other things rather than just KDP. So that in a nutshell is what's happened to my KDP account and why you've seen me kind of post a lot less on social media recently. There has been a reason for it, but going forward now, having got this off my chest and informing everyone who's watching this video and also on my Twitter of exactly what's happened, I can start moving forward and moving into the next chapter. But I really do appreciate anyone who's got this far in the video for all of your support on my KDP Twitter and just generally on my KDP journey to this point. And I really hope you can continue to be part of this community that we're building going forward. Yes, it's not just going to be KDP, but I hope you also benefit from the other stuff that we're going to be creating content wise on this channel and also on Twitter. But thank you very much for watching. And I hope you do appreciate that this is quite a big thing for me that's happened in my life. Again, it probably doesn't seem like it because I'm not exactly broken down crying the whole time. But I'm a firm believer that you just have to keep looking forward. You have to move on to the next thing. There's no point sweating over what's happened in the past. Yes, I've tried everything I can to get this KDP account back. But unfortunately, sometimes it's just not the way it works. Sometimes there are bumps in the road that you never expected to happen. And if you're going to take anything from this video, it is that mentality of, you know, some things aren't always going to work out the way you do. I'm a firm believer that in the long run, everything does happen for a reason. I know it's so cliche, but maybe this is something that has happened and forced me onto another path that's going to take me much more to where I actually want to be with my life. So that's kind of how I'm approaching it and how I'm kind of dealing with losing such a massive asset that I built and spent so much of my life building as well. But I do really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, it's a bit of a negative one, but I really appreciate you watching and also understanding everything where I'm coming from. And also thank you so much for everyone for all of the support going forward and also in the past supporting my entire journey. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.